Think Gadget Reviews, News, and All About It. Microsoft Lumia 950XL Review Introduction After Windows Phone 8.1s release in April last year, the Lumia brand went undercover, as Microsoft released very few handsets and pondered what comes next for the operating system and its smartphone business. Fast forward to September 2015, though, and the Windows universe has been shaken by yet another Big Bang, for MS released the new Windows 10 on practically everything that has a computer and display in its assembly, from fitness tracking wristbands all the way to smartphones, tablets, and laptops. The launch of W10 on mobile was spearheaded by two all-new handsets, the 5.2-inch Lumia 950 and the 5.7-inch Lumia 950 XL. The latter is a high-end fiblet that's, without question, the most powerful Windows smartphone ever released. But there's an uneasy question casting its shadow over the 950 XL, despite its perceived aura of excellence emitted by a promising spec sheet, an ambitious camera setup, and the novelty of running Windows 10. Can this device gain back the mind and market share lost by the operating system during its year of restrained, sporadic activity? Find out in our review. Design An uninspired look and feel that isn't fit for a high-end smartphone in this day and age. Let's get this out of the way, the Lumia 950XL has to be the single most nondescript high-end fiblet released in 2015. Representing pure function over form. The handset has a conservative plastic body that's about as attractive as your entry-level Windows a laptop nowadays. There are no decorations of any kind, which makes for a clean, but incredibly dull look. Upon a closer examination, we notice that the removable back panel won't detach itself fully in some places, and also gives in when pressure is applied. This is a cheap build that's out of line with what one may expect from a $600 smartphone. Still, the fiblet isn't completely design unconscious, for it presents a decent screen-to-body ratio and feels reasonably comfortable in the palm. But the volume and power keys, placed right, have sharp corners, feel mushy, and are just bad. Moreover, the Lumia 950XL is rather top-heavy, but on the upside, there's a dedicated camera shutter key, which will come in handy for avid photographers. And, just so you know, the Fiblet utilizes the new USB Type-C port, which solves the age-old problem of turning the connector to its right side, but means you must always keep a Type-C cable nearby, for microSIM connectors are incompatible. The Lumia 950XL's 5.7-inch AMOLED display sure sounds impressive on paper, and what do you know, it actually does deliver the goods, save for one glaring flaw. At just 297 nits of maximum brightness, this is one dim screen that will make you squint your eyes under bright light. Otherwise, things are great for the most part. The 1440x2560 resolution is more than adequate for this diagonal, while the color temperature and gamma calibration at play result in pleasant, natural tones. The display isn't pinpoint color accurate but most shades and hues are quite close to their reference values. Moreover, you can choose between different color profiles, or adjust the picture completely to your liking. If there's something about the 950XL's display that's not to your liking, tinker away. Introduction Last November, Microsoft launched the Lumia 950 and 950XL to debut Windows 10 on smartphones. With muscular spec sheets, the duo took aim at the higher-end price segment, leaving Windows 10 out of reach for budget-minded buyers. Six months later, Redmond introduced an affordable option, the Lumia 650. Featuring a slim design and markedly lean hardware, we're intrigued whether the handset is compromised in any way, punches above its weight, or simply delivers the essentials and nothing more. The answer might surprise you. Design A simple, understated Lumia phone that's a bit taller than needed. The Lumia 650 has borrowed understated, rectangular-shaped DNA strands from the design gene pool. 
its unassuming looks aren't ones to fall head over heels with, but they don't irritate with any excess, annoyances, or baffling choices. It features a glass front, a metal frame, and a removable plastic back plate. Removing and reattaching the back panel is easy and secure, providing access to the battery, nanosim tray, and microSD card slot. The metal frame is sturdy and it won't torment your palms with sharp edges. The phone itself isn't feather light, but its weight is evenly distributed. It handles fairly well for a 5-incher, although the top and bottom bezels are longish, making the handset taller than desirable. The power and volume keys are placed on the right and respond tightly, without wobbling or mushing it up. As a whole, build quality is solid on the Lumia 650, although the utilitarian look won't win fashion awards. Short in some aspects. Images look crisp and colors are reasonably accurate right off the bat, save for the seriously skewed greens. Thankfully, the phone lets you tune the display's color temperature and color saturation to your liking, so tweak at will. The peak brightness output of 340 nits isn't anything to write home about, but using the Lumia 650 under bright light poses no issue. The minimum brightness of 5 nits is okay for not searing your retinas during bed reading. Viewing angles are fine, with no noticeable color, brightness, or contrast distortions. There's also an always-on feature that shows you the current time, date, and event notifications. As a whole, the display is of good quality. Introduction Would you believe that it's already been five long years since Windows Phone 7 launched? Back then, we saw several manufacturers jump on board in producing devices that showcased Microsoft's mobile platform, but their impact on the market was marginal at best. Fast forward to the present day, and we only have a single entity leading the way, Microsoft itself. With the launch of Windows 10, however, Microsoft has an ambitious undertaking, to reinvigorate the interest in its mobile platform. Could it be too late, though? Well, Microsoft begs to differ, as its Lumia 950 has launched to promote the full arsenal and capability of the company's most advanced mobile platform to date. Entering the holiday season, we're already seeing a handful of quality smartphones vying for supremacy, so there's no denying that the Lumia 950 is attempting to penetrate a space that's heavily saturated. Without question, Microsoft is a legitimate force to be reckoned with, but the Lumia 950 needs a solid, heavy hand to swing the tide in Microsoft's favor. The package contains Wall Charger USB Type-C to USB Type-A Cable Getting Started Guide Warranty Information Design It looks more like a prototype than a finalized product. We're a bit perplexed with the final decision regarding the handset's design, mainly because the handset lacks the style and premium workmanship that many other phones of this class exude. It looks more like a rough first-round prototype than something that has been meticulously eyed over. Seriously, Microsoft could have opted for a more attention-grabbing look, considering that design is what helps in gravitating prospective buyers to a particular device. The choice of materials, in particular, is what gives the Lumia 950 the feel of a lower-grade Lumia model. With its matte plastic body, one that's offered in white or black, the phone lacks the visual appeal and substance to attract people, it feels somewhat hollow. Unlike previous phones like the Lumia 1520 or 930, with their stylish and angular designs, the 950 simply comes off dull and boring. It is not all bad news, however, in the hand, the handset feels lightweight and comfortable to hold. But in all fairness, if we're to peruse the phones on display in a store, We'd certainly overlook the Lumia 950 because of its subdued presence and underachieving design. As many previous Lumia models, the 950 features a dedicated shutter key on its right edge, and we do appreciate having it at our disposal. It gives us quick access to the camera app and comes in handy when snapping photos. Other notable design choices include the new USB Type-C port.
as the connector is reversible, the charging cable conveniently goes in either way. But the new USB standard can make for a tougher time charging when you're away from home, as the still dominant micro USB cables don't fit. At long last, Windows on mobile has ushered into the Quad HD era, and we're gladly accepting of this reality. Keep in mind, though, that there's really nothing that warrants the Lumia 950 more adulation over its rivals because Quad HD resolution been in circulation for quite some time now. With the Lumia 950, we're given a 5.2-inch, 1440 by 2560 pixel AMOLED display with a reflection-reducing clear black technology. Certainly, there's no shortage of details with the screen's pixel-crushing 564 pi pixel density. Being of the AMOLED variety, the display exhibits all of the staple qualities of the technology, pure, deep black, fantastic clarity at wide viewing angles, rich contrast, and that unmistakable glow in the dark. While our eyes tell us that we have a pleasant display here in the Lumia 950, the benchmarks help to validate that. Its color reproduction manages to accurately hit all of the target values in the sRGB color gamut chart. For all of its top-notch qualities, however, its luminance tops out at a mere 349 nits. That's just underpowered by today's standards, which is why the Lumia 950 might be trickier to use under the sun compared to other recent high-end phones. Pure and simple, there's very little to complain about the Lumia 950's display besides its weak brightness output. It's just that, you know, we've seen Quad HD screens time after time in many other contemporary handsets.